Coming up on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get an inside look at the boys' tennis team. Plus, you'll see some footage of the teacher appreciation softball game. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Now, from the Raider Nation, and voted one of the best in the Midwest, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Jacob Higgins. And I'm Sophie Schneblin. Before we get started with this week's announcements, let's take a look at the class of 2019 one last time when they took their graduation walk around the school for the final time last Friday. The anti-bullying thought of the week was submitted by Miss Black and was said by St. Augustine. Wrong is wrong even if everyone is doing it. Right is right even if no one is doing it. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Mental health, health is essential to everyone's overall health and well-being, and mental illnesses are common and treatable. So much of what we do physically impacts us mentally, so it's important to pay attention to both your physical and mental health. Remember, it's okay not to be okay, but what's not okay is not asking for help. The first NHS meeting is scheduled for May 21st in Miss Otten's room during Raider Hour. We will vote on officers, discuss important upcoming dates, and the individual service project requirements. A calendar, note, a calendar note has already been sent to your school email account. Please reply to the email and attendance is mandatory. Any student interested in working for the high school this summer, moving classrooms, cleaning, etc., please see Mr. Jim Booth. His office is located next to the wood shop or contact him at the email on your screen. Please join us for our last Health Career Club meeting this school year on Thursday, May 23rd. Learn more about being an LCSW and participate in a hands-on activity. The guest speaker is an LCSW and he is a bereavement coordinator at OSF Hospice. The girls' soccer banquet will be on Monday the 20th at Avani's in East Peoria. Food will be served at 5, followed by awards. Creative Writing Club will meet May 20th after school in Ms. Pfeiffer's room, 215E. Congratulations to the student council members for 2019 through 2020 school year. President Jolene Varquez, v Vice President Faith Bavard, Treasurer Sam Abbey, Secretary Krista Messer, and Parliamentarian Joshua Orr. Sophomores Ellie Beck, Haley Catton, Kelsey Griffin, Kenzie Hokenberry, Haley McMahon, Hannah Muller, Ellie Rozak, Tyson Summer, and Tressa Tucker. Juniors Madeline Aaron, Marjorie Alvey, Grace Calvin, Taylor DeVos, JC Dirtle, Riley Fortune, Addie Lister, Jack Mal Maloney, and Brody Swearingen. Seniors, Caitlin Engel, Morgan Cowan, Aiden Kramer, Abigail Eggemeyer, Monique Cousin, Aubrey Humphrey, Amanda McGarity, Riley O'Laughlin, and Peter and Paul Peterson. Jolene and Sandra are in the studio this week for the Raider Report. Welcome back to this week's Raider Report. I'm Jolene Barquez. And I'm Sandra Ganem. Our first shout-out goes to the sophomore baseball team who defeated Washington on Monday, May 13th, 9-1. Dakota Watson had another brilliant performance on the mound, allowing only one run on three hits over seven innings. Ryan LaHood and DJ Hidden each had multi-hit games for the Raiders, while Mitch Ball, Jonah Ziegler-Harris, and Bryce Brummett all had RBIs. The Raiders played well defensively, with Bo Bailey making a diving catch. The boys improved their record to 10-3 in conference play and 17-7 overall. Our next shout out goes to the Lady Raiders softball team who defeated the Lincoln Rail Splitters 13-3 on Monday, May 13th. Lady Raiders improved to 22-6 and 13-0 in conference with a win over the Pekin Dragons 17-1. EP had a huge offensive game led by senior Sam Despinies who had two grand slams and 10 RBIs for the day. Junior Monique Houston was 4-4 with a home run and 4 RBIs. With the, lady, with the win, the Lady Raiders clinched the Middle Illini Conference title. Varsity Baseball beat Washington to 2 on May 15th. The Raiders had great pitching from sophomores David Hidden and Jonah Ziegler-Harris. Great job, Raiders. On Thursday, May 16th, the boys' track team had some great performances at the sectionals meet in Macomb. A lot of our athletes had their best ever performances, and two of our Raiders qualified for state. Nick Waller and Discus 
and Jerome Wilson in long jump. We're state qualifiers that will go to compete and represent EPCHS next weekend. We also had several athletes that had their best ever performances. David Duffer in the 100 meter, 200 meter, Brock Burns in the 400 meter, Garrett Pepsell in the pole vault, Noah Kirby in the 800 meter, Jerome Wilson in the 110 meter hurdles, 300 meter hurdles in long jump, Cisco Gomez in the discus, and Sam, William, Sam Williams in the 800 meter. Terrific job to the boys track team. Our last shout out goes to the Lady Raiders softball team who are the middle line eye champs going undefeated in conference. The ladies defeated Washington last Thursday night 2-0. This is the first time since 2015 that the Raiders have gone 14-0 in the Middle I and I Conference. Congratulations, Lady Raiders. That's it for this week's Raider Report. Up next, you'll hear how the boys' tennis team is doing. Plus, you'll see how the softball game showed some love to our EP teachers. Hi, I'm Jacob Higgins, the Superior Jake, and today I am with Jake Huff of the boys' tennis team. And uh, Jake, how would you describe your season so far? It's going really good, but as the season closes, I feel like we have a really good chance to finish it off strong. All right, and um, how do you plan to kind of improve or expand next season? Uh, we have a whole another summer for me, so I plan on taking full advantage of that to increase my game. All right, and uh, how do you see the team performing as a whole next year? We are losing a lot of great seniors, but we also do have some pretty good uh, JV that are going to be coming up and taking their places. So it seems like it could be good. All right, and uh, good luck with next season, and good luck with the rest of this season. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sophie Schneblin, and today I'm with Griffin Watson, and we're going to talk about the boys' tennis season. So, Griffin, you have had a fantastic season. What has been a highlight for you? That everyone on the tennis team encourages you, even if you do good or bad. Yeah, absolutely. And what are you looking forward to for future seasons? To do better on the tennis team. And if you had to give a recommendation to someone who wants to try to join the boys' tennis team next year, what would you say? I would just say just to have fun and try hard. And lastly, uh, for next season, do you have a specific goal or somewhere that you want, a mark that you want to hit? I'd like to move up on the ranking for the team. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Jordan Lee here at the East Peoria softball game versus the Lincoln Rail Splitters. At this game, softball players have chosen teachers that they most appreciate to be recognized before the game. Let's welcome today's teachers. Lee. Coach Janae Minzioni saw the need to appreciate and honor such an amazing staff such as the one we have here at EP, so she did just that at the home game against the Lincoln Rail I started this this year is because I think that the teachers and staff at East Peoria Community High School is one of the hardest working staff, the staff that cares about these kids more than anybody I've ever seen. And I think this is just a nice way that we can um, tell the staff and teachers that we appreciate them. Sandra Ganem is honoring Mrs. Tammy Coughlin, a member of the math department. <laughs> Ms. Coughlin, who have you been recognized by and what does this mean to you? I was recognized by Sandra Ganim, and it means the world to me because I adore all my students, and to be recognized like this just makes my heart full. Mo Hoosin is honoring Mr. Justin Yang, a member of the English department. Mr. Yang, who have you been recognized by today, and what does this mean to you? I have been recognized by Monique Hoosin, and this is, this is what it's all about. This is what teaching is all about to be recognized for the stuff that we do and the hard work that we put in. I mean, it means the world. It's, it's, it means everything. Amanda McGarity is the Lady Raiders were all in with this idea and were happy to nominate their beloved educators. Junior Amanda McGarity, who nominated Mr. Josh Theobald, and sophomore Madeline Aaron, who nominated Mr. Zach Fleming, weighed in on why they nominated these special teachers. Who did you choose to recognize tonight and why? I chose Mr. Theobald because he really got me excited about science and like careers in science. Um, I chose Mr. Fleming and I chose him because he always makes class super fun and he's just a funny person overall. 
I think it's safe to say the EP teachers greatly appreciated the Lady Raiders' appreciation. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. The, for the full set of announcements, you can go to the EP website or listen to Sophie Schneblin every day during Raider Hour. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Jacob Higgins. And I'm Sophie Schneblin. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider, Raider Day. day.